I'm Audrey Rowe. Today, I'm the face of America. When you talk about race, people get a little bit uncomfortable. They start to squirm and kind of look at their shoes. Uh, I'm actually the daughter uh, of actually two working class teenagers uh, from St. Louis, Missouri, uh, who barely finished high school and for whom education was critical as a way to better your lives. My father worked multiple jobs to move us to a better uh, neighborhood, which happened to be uh, predominantly white. We were one of the first black families to move there. Uh, when I moved in that, into that community, uh, I ended up, it was at a time when things were shifting in terms of integrated schools, and uh, even though I lived in an integrated neighborhood, I ended up being bused to uh, another community, uh, which was not very welcoming. I uh, went to the University of Missouri, uh, where there were very few uh, people of color, and even though uh, I got, we got a very good education, there wasn't a sense of really being engaged in the community. It was pretty much a classroom experience, but everything else was kind of like putting your nose against the candy store window pane. Moved to uh, Maplewood, New Jersey, fast forward, and uh, actually with my husband who is Muslim, I happen to be Christian. Living in New Jersey is an interesting experience in and of itself. Many people don't realize that uh, New Jersey is the sixth most segregated state in the United States. And within that state itself, where I live, in Essex County, we are the most segregated county in that state. I found, or they found me, I should say, uh, an organization called the South Orange Maplewood Community Coalition on Race. So I started to work with the coalition um, as a volunteer, using my marketing background for my corporate training. And from that experience, I got more engaged, uh, we got more connected, they wanted more and more of my time, and then I, and I ended up uh, converting that into a position, which I now hold, which is program director of the South Orange Maplewood Community Coalition on Race. The whole issue of race uh, is fascinating and frustrating at the same time because we talk about it, whether it's in the United States or around the world, but we seem to be very uh, poor at actually solving the issue. And I think that a lot of that lack of progress is based on two things from my position. One is that we don't, we lack the will to really go after it. You know, when Kennedy said we were gonna put a man on the moon, we did it. You have to have that dream and be committed and not be diverted to something else. And we lack the focus. It's not something you can do in your spare time or whenever the thought hits you. You have to really be focused, put the resources there, whether they be human resources or financial resources. Uh, and because of the lack of that, we keep having the same issue, the same problems over and over again. The coalition has developed a number of programs uh, to combat racism and to instill integration, not just in lip service, but in reality, where you have people not just living next door to each other of different backgrounds and different races, but actually living together and sharing the best of who they are. The reality is where we have a lot of commonalities and we are one human race, we are created with these wonderful differences. Rather than ignore or deny them, we need to embrace them. To not look at race is to basically annihilate the experiences of whole groups of people because they have a whole different experience because of race. And then when you say, I don't notice or don't, you know, my whole life is based on the fact or influenced by my race. So how can you tell me you don't notice when it's affecting whether or not I can get a job, where I can live, so many aspects. So don't ignore race, look at it and look, what, look at what's going on and let's get some equity. Let's work together to come to that perfect place where it shouldn't matter, but the reality is it does. And as long as it matters, we need to acknowledge that and be intentional about changing it. Ignoring it, looking away, is what's kept us where we are today. Most people feel that you know they're good, honest people and they're not racist. And a lot of what we do in our community is to sponsor what we call conversations on race, where we invite people in from different races, different backgrounds to have candid conversations about issues. And from those conversations, we sometimes expose to ourselves those areas where we have issues. Black and white 
have issues around race. But until you have an awareness and, uh, and own and acknowledge that, there's no, no way to change.